going back uh, really pre-2023, uh, we had initially the core four, Stacks, Lightning, Rootstock, and Liquid, which were kind of the more known L2s or uh, layer twos within the ecosystem. And since then, fast forward about a year and a half later, we now have an explosion of L2s and new protocols that are giving light to Bitcoin layers. And because of all of this development, uh, we've been able to now push forward the unlock of that dormant trillion and a half dollars of Bitcoin liquidity faster than we have at any point in the past 15 years. The Ethereum ecosystem has grown as it has totally proven out the DeFi use case. And so we have sitting here right now, we're at a very interesting position where we basically have had the market validation uh, and done for us with, with DeFi. Now we can take the lessons learned from that ecosystem and we can apply them to the Bitcoin DeFi ecosystem and say, how can we build things that are actually going to be useful? So what lessons can we take from Ethereum for what's worked, what hasn't worked? And then how can we build them more in the in line with the Bitcoin ethos where security and safety are kind of top of mind? Bitcoin, the asset is really hard to use now on in DeFi and on other networks. And a lot of people and then protocols in general, they have tried making Bitcoin more useful. For instance, wrap Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I think that that was a great experiment. But ultimately, we cannot trust a single custodian to custody all of our Bitcoin if we want to make use of it in DeFi. So the narrative of Bitcoin DeFi has been like a, a unicorn type of thing. But if we look at protocols like Alex, Arcadico, Zess, Velar, Bitflow, etc., I think it really is letting people see, for one, you can have different flavors of Bitcoin DeFi. And then for two, Bitcoin DeFi is a real thing. And if you see Bitcoin, is is the most institutionally loved uh, cryptocurrency in the world. Like institutions, when they talk about cryptocurrency, 90% of time they talk about Bitcoin. Um, it's one of the reasons is also because it's the most secure, most metal tested, most longest running blockchain and token. So Bitcoin is, uh, is kind of a symbol of trust when it comes to cryptocurrencies. And, uh, and that's why when we build DeFi on Bitcoin, this DeFi infrastructure built on top of Bitcoin will also have that symbol of trust because it is built on Bitcoin. You start with sound money, and I think Bitcoin is the best form of that. Um, and then we get this opportunity as you know, developers, entrepreneurs, right, to, to, to build this financial infrastructure around that sound money. Um, you know, the L2s offer more programmability, um, and so you know we get to create more intricate financial products um, without introducing middlemen, which uh, I think is a very, very exciting opportunity. With Bitcoin DeFi, most use cases that grow fast have to do with um, some type of incentive for, for people, for users. You know, they have to be incentivized to use something or to um, put their money somewhere. So a monetary incentive is a pretty big one for, for humans in general. So with DeFi specifically, we've seen a lot of growth and a lot of use cases skyrocket on other blockchains years and past on Ethereum, for example. So when you take some of those concepts that worked really well on Ethereum and you bring them to the Bitcoin blockchain that is run with the most globally adopted digital crypto asset, that is going to be an enormous amount of capital unlocked. Bitcoin DeFi is, I think, like incredibly important for Bitcoin to gain mainstream adoption, right? I mean, most people hold BTC because they see it as an inflation hedge or they see it as some kind of store of value, right? But, you know, a store of value is, is, is primarily useful if you can, if you can use it in finance. Right? Like that's, that's sort of like the, the, the sort of crucial, crucial piece that's currently missing, right? You can hold a bunch of BTC, but it's very difficult to borrow against it. It's very difficult to trade it in a lot of different countries. Right, and there's there's a lot of things that are that you, know, you just don't have access to financial services as much. Right? Layer two solutions and Bitcoin DeFi platforms reduce costs and speed up transactions, which open up uh, more use cases for daily use activities, and uh, you know open up the aperture for more and more people to participate in the Bitcoin network. The ability to create protocols that leverage Bitcoin natively is and have a direct connection to to the Bitcoin layer one is something that that hasn't happened on a scale that we're seeing with stacks before. And this, you know, the, this increased utility, um, you know, it makes it possible to build 
to build protocols that leverage Bitcoin to to make it more of an economically productive asset. All I need now to interact within a global ecosystem is an Xverse or Leather wallet and then some Bitcoin or stacks. And then I'm able to do so many different things from the standpoint of stacking, from the standpoint of providing liquidity as an LP in a decentralized manner. There, it opens up a world of opportunities. And so stacks has put a real and like trust minimized effort behind Bitcoin to make it usable in a way that we can scale the BTC versus a wrapped Bitcoin is hard to scale. That gives us, you know, it really, it literally opens the floodgates to use Bitcoin on um, in a way that I think is more sustainable and scalable. That allows us to reach a whole new group of people and not only bring them into the Bitcoin ecosystem, but sort of begin to then also educate them on sort of the Bitcoin ethos and the Bitcoin way of doing things in a way that's going to be Yes, where their Bitcoin is going to be able to be economically productive, but it's going to be done in like a smart, intelligent way. Bitcoin DeFi used to be a very contrarian bet, but I think it actually is, is picking up a lot of steam. And therefore, providing new use cases, new applications, new ways of thinking and doing and designing, and then again, opening up that untapped Bitcoin liquidity. And that's why I think DeFi will be one of those main use cases that's going to um, bring Bitcoin to the masses and be one of those major contributors.